So we will talk about the Raganga Padhati, the Raganga system of classification of Ragas in this video. Now this Padhati, this Raganga Padhati finds more traction among musicians themselves. What is Raganga? Raga, Raganga is a word that is derived from Raga plus Anga. Raga is Raga. Anga is um, you can say limb, you can say or part. So in this case Raga Anga really refers to a phrase, a typical phrase. What may be called Raga Vachaka phrase. That is a phrase that tells you what that raga is. So, for instance, mm, mm, nidhani, just this way, right? Nidhani, with a particular what is called Ucharan, the way it is rendered. Mm. This phrase belongs to Kalyan. Rag Kalyan or Rag Yaman owns it. And if this phrase is found in, in other ragas, that is grounds for classifying that raga under Kalyan. Kalyan Ang. Kalyan Raga Ang. So this is how this system works. So, Hare. This is again a very typical phrase of Yaman or Kalyan and it is a typical Kalyan Ang, a limb of Kalyan. So how the system works is that major ragas uh, are regarded as Raganga ragas. That is their limbs or the phrases that make it, make up uh, those ragas are regarded as uh, definitive of those ragas, right? that is what they are. And when these phrases are found in other ragas, those other ragas are regarded as Kalyan Ang or Kalyan Prakar. Then there are two words for this Kalyan Prakar also we say, or you know, Malhar Prakar. That is, we say it's, it's a kind of, it's a type of Kalyan. That is the Raganga Padhati. So now, even though this is not, you know, perfect or flawless, um, it is still, you know, it's based on the personality of the Raga, and therefore it is preferred. It is. It takes into account not just what notes are used, which is what the Mela system does, but how these notes are used how the notes are brought into phrases and how they are delivered, how they are rendered. Raga Ucharan, Swaro Ucharan as it is called, Swara. How, how is it delivered, how is it rendered? So it really in, includes uh, elements such as ornament, Shruti and also the Laya, the internal spacing and internal distribution or uh, the, the laya, that is what you can say, the, the rhythm with which internal rhythm of that phrase. Now, Raganga Padhati um, is, is, as I said, fairly popular among the Indian the performance tradition itself, and uh, different uh, musicians, theorists have come up with different number of uh, Ragangas. That is, with how many main ragas do you have? How many raganga ragas do we have? So here also there is a difference of um, opinion. And uh, Narayan Moreshwar Khare, who was a disciple of Vishnu Digambar Paluskar. Narayan Moreshwar Khare, who was a disciple of 
Vishnu Digambar Paluskar, who was another epoch maker uh, of the 20th century. He, he is, Raganga Paddhati is really uh, most closely associated with Khare and he proposed 30 Ragangas, that is 30 main important uh, Raganga Ragas. Now, how does the Raganga, Raganga system work? So, let us look at a, a few Ragangas and how Ragas are classified under these Raganga. Let us take Bhairav. Bhairav is a, it's an ancient Raga really and uh, Bhairav is, uh, is, is obviously, it is one of the Raganga Ragas and what some, what are some important Angas of Bhairav? Ga mere ga mere and this is a very important anga of bhairav it is Shuddhaga, Shuddhagandhar, Komal Rishabh that meaned and uh, the Rishabh is, the re is slightly oscillated. Uh, now this is a typical phrase of Bhairav and if this is found in a, some other Raga, that is grounds for classifying that Raga under Bhairav, you see Bhairavang. Bhairav Raganga, Bhairav Raganga, Bhairav is a Raganga Raga and this is a Bhairav Prakar, the type of Bhairav. I hear Bhairav as I mentioned earlier has this phrase. Sare Gama Gama Re doesn't matter that the rest of the raga, rest of the swaras are, are different, doesn't, they are not the swaras that you, that are used in Bhairav, but it is still classified under Bhairav. I hear Bhairav is a Bhairav Kaprakar. In fact, uh, Pandit Ramashri Jha, who is, uh, who, who was a leading uh, musicologist, uh, Shastrakar, a person who wrote uh, treatises in Hindi, about ragas, uh, he, he, he when he talks about Ahir Bhairav, he says that Ahir Bhairav ha, belong. This is in Bhairav ka prakar, right? It belongs to the Bhairav ang, but even though is it the dha and the ni are different from Bhairav thought, it is still classified under the Bhairav thought. So just because Ahir Bhairav has the Bhairav ang. That is grounds for also classifying it under Bhairav thought. It is the point here is both these Paddhatis are used simultaneously, Mela Paddhati and Raganga Paddhati. Both have issues. They both are, as I said, imperfect. One of them because they address different aspects of ragas. Mela only addresses this whereas whereas Raganga Paddhati addresses the personality, the melodic personality of the Raga. So, when Shastrakaras, people, musicians and people who discourse about music, they freely use both systems. There is no conflict here. It's not that you have to, you know, commit yourself to only one classification system. It's not like that. Let me demonstrate Kannada. Kannada is another important Raganga. Some important um, phrases here are mm, uh, Darbari Kannada is of course one of the very famous important raga here. Mm, now that ga is <coughs> oscillated but um, it is different from the oscillation of, say, say the Malharang. Um, 
When this is typical of this is a very typical phrase of the of Canada and and it is there of course in Darbari Canada rega ma re sa re sa re ni sa ni sa re sa ga Again, this is Nipa, Nipa, that Nipa, Nipa, that long uh, glide to the knee from the pa, Nipa, that's a Sa, Sa, Nipa, this is also a very typical Kannada Ang. we have abhogi kanada which um, has this phrase of rega ma re sa sa re ga ma re sa da da sa re ga re sa da so the dha is different from darbari kanada we hear it as shuddha darbari has common but both of them belong to the same family of ragas they cannot belong to the same thought because the dha are different dha is different um, but they belong to the same family again you have karagas like naiki kanada sahana kanda many kanada prakars are there because they will be using one or the other of these phrases that define kanada ang for instance naiki um mm, gamani pa re re that ni pa re re de re doesn't have de re this phrase is not found in naiki kannada but this other phrase is found de re de 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 because of that nipa the way the nipa is rendered in nayaki it is regarded as kannada prakara similarly sahana kannada is a pa ga ma da ni pa again the same ni pa pa ma pa ga de ra na ra de ra de sadani pa we we often have the same cluster of notes the same uh, set of notes but they give a very different a uh, very different personality this can be accommodated under the raganga padhati not under mela obviously for instance if we look at uh, if, if we look at sarangang sarang is also an important uh, ang so uh, here you have ni sa re ma pa re ma pa re ma re ni sa re ma pa ma re sa ni sa re sa ni pa is not ni sa re sa ni pa typically sarang will not use this kind of Nipa, that belongs to Kannada. So, Kannada is uh, you. You can look at this um, the link that is given below 
in which Pandit Ramashri Jha gives a masterful demonstration of this Rehmapa, the same set of swaras in Sarang and in another ra called Megh. He says that um, in Sarang the Ri, the Rishabha, is Nirashtrata. So, the Ri is just, it stands by itself. Nisari ma paure, re ma nisari sa. Nisari ma pa nisari pa nipare, re ma pare ma ni. Nisari sa. This is of course, this is Brindavana Sarang. This is uh, a very important rag. Um, there is another rag, Madhavad Sarang, which uses only the Komal name. Vrindavan Sarang uses both knees. Nisarimapani. This is the Shuddhani. Sanipan. That is the Komal name. Sanipamaremani. There is Madhavad. Madhavad Sarang, another ancient rag. It uses only Komal Nishad. Ni sa ni sa re ma pa re sa ni sa re sa ni pa pa ni sa re re pa ma re re ma pa ma re ma re sa ni sa re ma pa ni sa ni pa Ma pa ni sa ni pa ma pa re ma pa ma re re sa ni sa re ma re sa ni sa re sa ni pa. This is Madhavad Sarang. When the same notes are used in a different ang, the Malharang. Uh, Re, 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 re. So here the re is uh, it's not independent. Re ma pa re. It's not like that. Re sa. It's it's there is an andolan. You 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 bring it from the madhyam. Again the ni. So just this, that the knee and the re are shaken in Megh, that uh, creates a world of difference between the two ragas. So Malhar is another very important uh, raganga. Uh, its main phrases are Mare Pa. This is a very important. Uh, phrase of Malhar along with the Re Pa Ga Ma De The Ga Both Kannada and Malhar have Kumal Gandhar Both are Andolit, both are shaken but it's a very different position in which they are shaken. So Kannada Gandhar is lower. Sa Sa Re Ga This is Kannada Ga. Re Pa Ga Ma Re So it's the Ga there shaken with the Ma and here in Kannada the Ga is closer to the Re, the Rishab. So these are all what make up for the ucharan, the rendering. The ucharan is often translated as pronouncing, but in this case, of course, it is how it is rendered, how uh, you actually sing it. Let us listen to uh, an important malhar prakar, God malhar. God malhar has the malharang of repa. Sare gama mare. Ma pa da sa da 
That is the Malharanga. Let's listen to God Malharanga.
Ah, ah, ah. 